For the second set of notes on section 8.1, we are going to look at the following practice problems. We will do examples 1 and 2 together, and then I'll have you do 3 and 4 on your own. For number 1, we want to find the ratio of x to y if we're given the following proportion. First thing I'd be thinking about is cross-multiplying here. So let's go ahead and cross-multiply and use the means extremes product theorem, which leaves us with 5x is equal to 15y. Notice we have an x on the left-hand side of the equation and a y on the right-hand side. We can't combine any other like terms, so we can leave it like that. That's what we want. We want to find the ratio of x to y, which looks like this. So what you have to do is write that general ratio as a fraction off to the side. And what we want to do is fill in the remaining part of the proportion. And what we do is we look here to determine what to put in our numerator and what to put in our denominator. We want to work backwards, so we want to be able to cross multiply and get 5x equals 15y. In order to do so, the 5 has to be in the denominator, so, so it's across from our x, and then the 15 has to be in the numerator, so it's across from our y. So our answer is 15 to 5, but we have to reduce it, which reduces to 3 to 1. Let's try another one. For this one, we want to find the ratio of a to b. So let's go ahead and highlight that and think about what that looks like. Remember, we want to write it as a general fraction first. So that'd be a divided by b. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. When we do so, we're left with 3a is equal to, now, 6 times, don't forget a minus b there is a binomial. So we want to make sure that we put parentheses around it and distribute the 6. So we are left with 3a is equal to 6a minus 6b. And notice we have a's on both, hand, both sides of the equation. So let's go ahead and bring the a's to one side of the equation. I'm going to bring all the a's to the left-hand side. So let's subtract 6a from both sides of the equation to leave us with negative 3a on the left-hand side of the equation and negative 6b on the right-hand side of the equation. And that's what we want. Remember, we want to be able to cross-multiply and get this. Negative 3a is equal to negative 6b. So let's write our general ratio of a to b over here. And in order to get our negative 3a, we need the negative 3 to be in the denominator across from the a. And in order to get the negative 6b, we need the negative 6 to be in the numerator across from the b. Now let's go ahead and reduce that ratio. A negative divided by a negative turns into a positive, And we can reduce 6 to 3 to 2 to 1 for our final answer. For 3 and 4, please try those problems on your own. Hit pause, and then you can compare your answers with mine after. For number three, we wanted to find both the arithmetic and geometric mean. Remember, arithmetic, think average. So you should have gotten 10. For geometric mean, you should have set it up like this. And don't forget, you should have listed both the positive and negative options for the answer. For number four, we wanted to find the fourth term or fourth proportional. So you should have set it up like that. When you cross multiply, you get x is 6.